I want people to be able to read this as a cinematic thing. Turkish curator Engin Ozendes gave photographer Alp Sime the task to rediscover the city he was born and raised in. It, it was kind of challenging because the other guys and uh, girls, they didn't... Uh, the real challenge was for them because one of them uh, like, uh, had to go to Cyprus for only one day. He had just one day to do the whole thing. And they're giving me Istanbul, which is like my backyard. So I tried to uh, do it as, as short as possible, just to be in the same par as them. He was one of 10 Turkish photographers chosen to reimagine the first known group photography trip from 1839, spanning several European and Asian cities. There was an announcement exactly 180 years ago in France by the Academy of Sciences about the discovery of photography. Two and a half months later, three artists set sail from Marseille to travel around the Mediterranean. They arrived at Alexandria, took a journey in the Middle East, and from Beirut, they went on sailing again. They went to Izmir, Çanakkale and Istanbul from there. I've had this idea that urged me to question, why shouldn't we do a similar journey? So she recruited 10 of her photographer friends, all with different shooting styles, and sent them to 31 different locations historical cities like Rome, Cairo and Beirut, but also some lesser-known islands. Lalipur Aitek went to a very small Greek island called Syros, mainly used as a summer home. I haven't heard it, uh, the, even the name of this island. It was a small island, but I really feel engaged with my soul, with my heart, I, the people that I have met. Uh, and it was a really interesting journey for me. Uh, and I, I decided to go not only once, because to feel the soul of the island, people, the spaces, uh, the surroundings. Uh, I have been there for in different winter, uh, different seasons. She loved the island so much, she visited three times for the project. Other places weren't as receptive. Considering the technological advancements the world has seen in the 180 years since the first group photography trip, one could assume this contemporary effort would be much easier to put together than its predecessor. Not necessarily the case, says the curator. Due to the current political climate, renowned Turkish photographer Joshkan Aro had difficulty entering the Palestinian territories and Syria. He sent me photos of the situation at the Gaza border and said it's just impossible. He couldn't go to Damascus, so only these two locations were not photographed for this exhibition. But we used the photographs from his previous visits. Imagine, 180 years ago, those Frenchmen were welcomed by the local authorities with gratitude. This wasn't the case anymore. This is a really... Still, the participants were happy with the results. Sime says there's just something about photography that lures people in. Those guys had uh, very little equipment, but they were addicted, you know. They just couldn't stop it, but travel the whole world and, you know, go after it. So they're not any different uh, than everybody taking photographs nowadays. In this day and age where a smartphone allows you to virtually travel the world from your fingertips, these photographers say this exhibition is a contemporary way for them to pay homage to the early photographers. Adil Halim, TRT World, Istanbul. Thank you.